Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today I'm going to do a bonus reading for May and um, we're going to check to see what is coming your way and I will also leave a link up here in the description box below if you would like a private reading from me. You can just go ahead and book your reading from there. I'm using here rose quartz to send you some love. Maybe love is all you need at this right time to clear the things that you really need to know okay get a clear message for that all right guys there's a path opening here an unexpected path actually um maybe something that you're going to be receiving good news from this path this can be someone um delivering coming forward towards you maybe delivering good news to you i see there's an evil eye on the bottom of the cup evil eye can be symbolizing a negative energy that you're having right now maybe some negative um you know events happening or can be somebody who is actually like affecting you because too much of admiration or too much of like the energy that they're sending you there are many ways to get rid of that and uh, the prayer is a way there, there are other many ways to get rid of evil eye and I uh, see here, there's somebody who seems like who's carrying this pot that kind of looks like an old school camera as well. I'm going to interpret it in two different ways. So this can be a pot full of gold or full of like opportunity or whatever it is. And this person is coming in with a bang. You see when they come in, come out of like this non-clear situation, maybe you have other people you're talking to. And I feel like this is your energy here. I see like a Capricorn or Aries energy. And uh, like this can be Capricorn, Aries. Both of them, the common part is they are goal oriented. Okay. And um, this can be maybe a goal in your mind that you're focusing on right here. You're discussing with somebody else that you think that is loyal to you. And while you are actually thinking about the strategizing in this situation, try to build a strategy somebody else is coming through and bringing you another option another way to see things this camera can be actually a projection that they're something that they recorded that projecting into the screen of the universe and they're giving you some bright other different option this kind of looks like screen here also reminds me of the uh, shinto shinto temples i think they have this red um square kind of like a gateway build and um the rules of shinto back in the day i did like a, a research for um um something and there were two four rules of shinto now i cannot remember all of them but i remember that they were actually very touching for me when i looked at them they were so like to the point and clear uh, I don't know how the Shinto religion operates, by the way. I just know that like that those four principles were very like to the point that uh, can um, actually make the world a better place if every single person has those manners, okay? And this kind of reminds me of that. This can be like a something massive change happening in your life that with a changing a new principle, bringing into your life, creating a framework around something and maybe clearing out a situation, a pathway is being cleared out for you. Also, I see there is a boat on top of it. The boat has a star inside of it. Star is the Aquarius energy, the water. Also, at the same time, when you see in the star card, there's waters flowing. Okay, so it can also involve emotions, can be involving a water sign because we have a boat here. Boats actually useful in the water. This can be like a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. Okay, so we're gonna overall, we're all overall has like have uh, the Aries, the Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius already in here. Okay, you don't have to have uh, these in your chart, but this can be the energies that you're gonna be embodying here. Okay. The boat can be another thing with the boat that reminds me of the Six of Swords. What happens in the Six of Swords is uh, you see the, the women and the child, only the clothing on their back. They're f actually s uh, sailing towards from choppy waters to the calmer shores. So this can also be symbolizing that from this choppy waters, you're actually carving a path for yourself and sailing towards the calmer shores, a better environment for yourself. Okay. 
there is a woman here kind of reminds me of like a diva like a blonde i see a letter b by the way can be in their name beth maybe and beth is like i think it's short for elizabeth i don't think there's a name called beth um but like uh beatrice can be the name this looks like someone can be also an ancestor or maybe a very close friend or someone like a family uh, uh, close to your family can be someone not really today's like um existing today i see that holy energy surrounding her but the color doesn't really matter the, what matters is here um there is this golden light the golden light is the light of the creator that's like the cre um the creation energy basically the big bang is the golden light and it turns into red light later on however here she symbolizes that there is going to be maybe a big bang moment coming forward for you this can be created by a feminine energy feminine energy uh, is also like another creative power but this doesn't have to mean that it is created by a female character it can be the feminine energy can be doing something artistic while you're following your highest passion and doing something while you enjoy to do and losing the count of time maybe something is going to be coming forward toward you inspiration um and maybe an idea will be coming during that time and after that i see here the masculine energy showing here and this is the time that you're going to start taking action with the idea you're going to start to create the path for you we have the half moon today i was actually staring at the moon tonight and what i saw was like you know that drawing of the moon with like the nose and the face like the half moon uh, it's like waning moon i don't know what's called the phases of the moon but um I saw the face of the moon basically when I stared at it. So it kind of reminds me of that. This is actually a good sign. It means that the moon is a darker side of us. The moon, maybe your moon sign is actually signaling you a message here. Okay. It's basically telling you it's time to just shine your light on the parts that you don't want to see of yourself. Maybe the things that you're putting away or trying to hide or maybe you're trying to change. Okay, it's time the sun, the sun is going to be shining over them. This creative energy is going to help you improve those parts of yourself, okay? Uh, and at the same time, this can be something that is left out in the dark that you does, don't know about, you haven't heard about, is going to be coming to light as well, okay? Right after that happens, I see many people gathering. This can be considered as pathways. However, I see like the people here. You see there's a person with a cloak like like-minded people coming together here gathering can be like um um like a business fair can be like a collective uh coming together celebrating something um what do we have next we're in may now i don't know if you have any religious holidays coming forward but yeah, if you have anything in your mind, this can be something like that. Or maybe ending, like beginning of the summer, celebration of the summer. That kind of a thing can be. Or maybe a wedding. I see many people coming together to celebrate. What is it going to do for you? It seems like here, the connections that you're forming here, like I see that there's going to be roots happening. So there are going to be long-term things, long-term friendships, maybe even partnerships are going to be forming with these in this crowd okay this crowd i interpreted this as a party it can be something like in a professional sense as well it doesn't have to be always a party let's get into your plate now i see a chunk of money here this can be like it has some time even though this is a weekly reading uh, i feel like this has some time maybe towards the end of the may or something and i want to mention these are general in nature so if it doesn't resonate with you it might not resonate with some people it might not resonate with you so if that's the case, you know what, take it what resonates, okay? I see there's, it's showing here. Let's, uh, okay, if you have a question and desire and intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. I want to mention that because I see sometimes in the comments, people are criticizing, like saying that what I'm saying never happens, never comes to their life. Like this is a general reading, you know? might not resonate with everyone it doesn't resonate with me sometimes but i don't you know 
Like I, I take these as well. The message sometimes when I pause, I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's actually, that was the answer that I was waiting for. Like that happens to me as well. Um, but like when it doesn't resonate, I don't feel like, <laughs> I feel like there is like a message coming through and somebody needs to hear it. That's what I'm thinking. It might not be me, might not be another person, but can be someone specific. Like that person knows themselves and they usually comment down below. And, uh, okay. Your desire, whatever it is, it's, it's coming really fast, actually. Like it is going to be a couple stages though, like one, two, three stages. Um, like maybe you're going to be taking like th three different steps towards it. And then it's going to come to, but I don't feel like it's going to be happening at the final time. The three stages can be like three levels of it. Like you're going to be completing something and you're going to receive something. And then the second and the third. Okay. Each time it feels like you're going to be receiving something. I see like you're wrapped inside of a cloud here and you are actually in a very com comfortable position. Wrapping inside a cloud is actually being wrapped by cotton is, um, phrase in my language it represents that being very comfortable in a situation okay uh, so like being protected by the divine power maybe even or being um pampered also it might be being pam pampered by someone it seems like here you're in that kind of a position and i see here there's actually um peacock peacock symbolizes someone who is um you know very um f good looking and they take care of themselves okay they are very um well you know known or like they are good with knowing that they have this high feminine energy um so this can be somebody like a motherly figure it doesn't have to be a feminine character it can be a masculine character but nurturing as well okay and uh, they're gonna be providing you this like um comfortable situation probably you have a beautiful halo surrounding you halo symbolizes actually a protection bubble there are three one two three four chunks of like one chunk of money three uh, tears of joy here this can be the news coming first and then you're receiving this chunk of money here, okay? I see a number seven. Number seven symbolizes knowledge and strategy. And this can be you actually developing a strategy before you start doing this. Maybe even like getting, putting yourself into this position. I even see a crow here. Crows are really smart. Actually, I was watching a video the other day. I don't know if that's the, the symbol of smartness, but they put these crackers right next to the window. And um, crow actually like picks them up very gently. And then the, you see the seagull. Seagull just, you know, cannot pick it up and just... Can they they even like fail to catch the ledge of the window and stuff so crows are known with their smartness and they can be trained as well um so it can be actually something um someone trained or who already knows what you will be you need to be doing showing up for you to support you or maybe giving you the information that you need to in order to accomplish what you're desiring let's see your cards wheel of fortune there you go whatever that you have as like a desire it is actually going to be coming forward for you okay um it is going to be happening in a beautiful way we have a dream catcher here the moon is out the sun is out we have an owl owl symbolizes actually high intuition so definitely at this time being focused on your intuition like your inner guidance is very important and that is going to get you to the sunlight and the dream catcher is going to be catching all the negative thoughts or maybe the things that are actually blocking your path so if you feel like this lightness okay do not feel overwhelmed because we if you are used to thinking in in the worst case scenario all the time when that mindset starts to change you can get worried okay but because the best case scenario is actually going to start happening, keep focusing on that because that is going to bring the sunshine. Again, we have the sunshine here with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is actually symbolizing celebration with your family, friends, and loved ones. You're going to have probably a lot of options about something. And this can even create confusion 
I feel like the Wheel of Fortune indicates that you're going to be having something beautiful coming your way and that you're going to be celebrating. But you might have a couple options. Maybe you're going to have a hard time to choose. After the celebration, you're going to come to realize, you know what? I have many options here. I don't know what, what to do, which one to pick. We have many cups energy here. Queen of Cups came forward. This can be someone, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone very feminine motherly figure self-sacrificing supportive and that is going to be there for you and um, this person is going to help you choose because they're showing a certain cup they're showing like pick this cup pick this one this is the better option so this can be your heightened intuition someone that you are actually close to or maybe even like um no, you know what I'm looking at. I'm going to show you right now. Maybe even someone who actually has experience about this. Okay, they choose some cup. I was looking at this. I'm saying, like, did I drop something here? That's what I was looking at. I feel like I dropped. No. Yes. I'm not sure if I dropped something here. And then I see. Okay, definitely I didn't drop that blue. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, this person is going to be helping you out. Hierophant is actually a Taurus energy here. And uh, this actually, the choice that you will make puts you in the, uh, the position of power. And with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yes, definitely. This is double confirmation. You, you're going to be in the power. Uh, don't take it as like a king and queen and the feminine and the masculine. Take this as like a male or female. Don't take it male or female. This can be feminine and masculine. So, a feminine character will help you choose and that choice will be actually putting you in a very powerful position. It is going to give you the authority that you're needing. Also bring you the financial security, okay? Eight of Wands symbolizes many positive opportunities will be coming forward in this thing, during this thing. And um, probably financially initially and also gives you the opportunity of massive power. Let's see what your unicorn cards are telling us at this time. The message for you here today. Okay, this one wants to come forward. Manifestation number 19. We have someone teaching to these children here. Two fairies or angels are helping already. We have two birds giving, bringing good news. Focus on a vision beyond yourself and your unicorn will help you. Unicorn, you, you can take it as an angel or spirit or a guide. We have the Archangel Raphael. Healing and abundance are coming to you. You see, I keep saying like, okay, the symbol of medicine, who, which has, when you see the snake, this is what I'm talking about. You see two snakes wrapping around each other. This is actually used, used as a symbol of medicine. It symbolizes DNA strand also the healing power like the snake um can be kundalini energy also the the snake venom is used as like a painkiller back in the day not today like in, during the greek time ancient greek and stuff okay and healing and abundance coming for you so if you are in need of guidance and healing that's definitely also going to be showing up here for you okay let us see what your secret language of color cards are actually telling us today. What you need to know. Okay, two of them want to come forward. We have black. Find riches from the dark night. Okay, the darkness. I don't see many darkness coming forward here, but the darkness is here with the seven of cups when you have a confusion moment. So this moment is actually going to help you to find the richness in it okay that you're going to be discovering some things about yourself we have a tangerine here this is kind of the so uh, the sacral chakra your creative part be spontaneous and have fun so the at the end of the day whatever that you're doing the fun is actually going to um multiply the you know when you have fun you're gonna uh, increase your abundance i have this instant magic oracle book and i'm gonna put open up um page for you we have a cat everything is going to be all right the universe is making way for you now okay this is actually like improving all this message coming forward here so um it seems like the things are going to be moving in a very positive way and you're going to be guided towards a new healing situation okay and uh, focus on a vision beyond yourself indicates that you see, this guy is actually teaching people something. He 
is not self-absorbed. His intention includes um, helping others to expand their vision. And there was actually this guy. Um, I don't know how true is that. I don't know how to interpret that. Maybe if you have a comment on that. He says, when I want to create abundance, I find someone who wants something and I help them get that thing. And they actually help me get what I want at the end of the day as well. Okay, I don't, I don't remember, I don't know the name of the guy, but I come across to him in social media. So that is actually a um, way to serve, okay? But this tells me here, you don't have to do that in a random way. You probably have a gift that people can benefit from. Every single human being assigned a gift. And that gift can be something that makes you happy also serves others okay when you follow that and create a vision with that gift that you have you're going to be actually manifesting amazing abundance into your life with a lot of fun and joy okay right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye